Hi all. I was watching uh, an update on one of the YouTube channels I watched by a guy called Tim Woods, uh, an Aussie guy who's building a car, an exo car from scratch. And the video was like a walk around video uh, showing where you know the progress he's made. It's a car that looks nearly finished. And the thing that struck me is how often he mentioned 3D printer when he was doing the walk around and the number of parts he'd 3D printed. And it got me thinking, what is the most useful tool you've got when you're building a kit car? So this is the car that sort of, st or the walk round video that st made me start thinking about this. Um, I would recommend anyone who's interested in this. He's not done a whole lot of stuff, but I would certainly recommend having a look at that channel. Sat here on a Sunday morning waiting for it to warm up a little bit before I go out in the garage. So in the meantime, I've got the 3D printer running. It's not very clear to see yet, but that is printing a case for the LCD display panel for the boost controller that I've designed. And when I've thought about it, the number of things I've made for my car using the 3D printer. I wonder how much longer it would take if I had to fabricate all, and cost of course, if I either fabricated all of this stuff from metal, or had to go pay a local engineering works to make stuff for me. So I'll never try and tell you 3D printers are the quickest way of getting parts. This is still my housing for the boost controller LCD printing. We're about 45 minutes on from the previous shot. It's still going. And about that long left. Uh, believe it or not, this is printing about the fastest rate you can go. Although it looks quite slow, it's printing out of a 1.2mm nozzle with a layer height of about 0.6mm. So it, that is about as quick as you can produce stuff. Um, as you can see, you get a very, very distinct 3D printed look to it. Um, you can see all the... I think I'm going to make focus on it. But you can see all the layers on the side. Uh, when it's taken off, you'll be able to see the print shape on it as well. For my day job, uh, if you like, which is car crazy, one of the things I do 3D print is laser alignment devices. So these, these things are used for aligning the front toe and um, caster on, on race carts. You can see I print it's still in 1.2 mil there. You can see the finish you get, so that's the finish where it's printed directly onto the build plate. Um, and again, that's you know, it's a fairly simple shape, but you, you can print things like that fairly easily. And they're fairly robust, you know, these things are, are pretty solid. So if I try and get a focus on that, get a focus on my grubby thumb. You can see I'm pushing that as hard as I can. It has a tiny, tiny bit of flex there. The one thing obviously you can't use, so this stuff prints. That little nozzle you can see there is about 190 degrees, 200 degrees. But this stuff does start going soft. Um, you know, around 80, 90 degrees. You do need to be a little bit careful. Uh, for instance, that will be underneath the RPM, you know, underneath my gauges. If that was in direct sunlight on a, you know, a really hot day that we're seeing in June at the moment, could be an issue. The plastic could go a bit soft and deform. Let's just have a little wander around the car. I'll show you some of the bits I've 3D printed. So some of the stuff you probably could fabricate fairly easy. That's just a little bracket holding the ECU in. Uh, 
right, so what else have we got? Oh, from the project I did before, um, that's the chain oiler. So that's the housing for the solenoid, and that's the uh, little thing with a pinch bolt so that I can uh, change the rate the oil comes out. Is there anything else down this side? I did one of the failures with the 3D printer was these. That's the it's pushed upside down whilst I'm working on it. That's the uh, mount for the mirrors. I did 3D print some, but they they basically they were right for a while and then just kept cracking. Um, that's my gear lever. I got a mount for the gear lever, so as it goes over the pipes there. I've also printed various pipe separators which again I know you know you can buy these sort of things fairly cheaply but made them so they actually fit the other bits of 3d printed um, you can see with the heat problem there so that is a, like a little t-bar that I've printed some of this normally is covered over this part's normally covered over with like the I don't know what you'd call it, it's not a transmission tunnel because I don't have a transmission but uh, so these I did to so I could keep things like the hydraulic lines just a little distance from the coolant lines to try and make sure and just minimize heat transfer you can see there where obviously the plastic has gone a bit soft there at some point um, and then little odds and ends so that's a little heel cup I found the throttle was a little bit high, so a little hill cup to keep my foot up. And then, where are we? On the throttle itself, a little extension. Because the, the I don't know if you can see the original curve on the throttle is really steep curve, and as you push the throttle in with your foot, it's kind of going away from you. So I just 3D printed that and tied in which yes I know is not pretty but it works what else have we got I don't think oh on the dash I've got a little surround there because this boost gauge was a 52 mil and the hole in there was a 60 mil so instead of having to redo the whole dash I've just printed a little surround um up here so I've got the twin headlights um and I need the bracket on these is too low so 3D printed a little kind of tie bar, top and bottom, that also mounts the LEDs for side lights. And I think that's about it. I mean, not a massive amount, but a lot of this stuff is quite handy. It's much quicker, mm, not always, but generally much quicker to 3D print. Certainly you can design it fairly quick and then just leave the printer running. So, what do you reckon? Most useful tool for someone building a kit car? Well, no, obviously not, because those are the most useful tools. And those are the most useful tools. So, before all my lovely Facebook people start barking on about how ridiculous my video is like some of the other ones people have said let's just say the most re perhaps a 3d printer is the most useful tool that isn't normally found in a garage let's say that what do you think am i right am i wrong love to see your comments my most ambitious 3d printing can you tell what it is yet so you this has been printed out long ago during COVID when I didn't have much to do. I designed the basic wing. Um, I've got a old uh, Tamiya model of a Lotus 72, and I kind of took much of the shape of it from a 72's front wing. Uh, anyway, this is obviously quite a, quite a little rear wing. I plan to fit in. Let me see around this position I'm thinking of it bit the 3d printing is basically as a former so if it I, I'll see if it works if it does work I'll then um, wrap it in carbon or 
fiberglass or something like that because it's better anyway there'll be um more of that to come because i've got plans um next arduino project i'm working on once i get this boost controller in and working is going to be to do with corner weight sensors using load cells so i'm actually going to use load cells on here so i can record if it does actually create any downforce but that will be a whole a separate series of videos so if you're interested in that kind of malarkey hit the subscribe button so then you don't miss the fun when it happens bye hi thanks for getting to the end of the video if you're not already subscribed please do so now just hit the subscribe button and then hit the bell button and that way youtube will tell you when there's any new videos we've got some big plans ahead for the channel including possibly a car build from scratch so if you want to get involved with that now's the time to subscribe cheers then bye